Anyway, so so go back to your roots because I know that you've been a photographer for a long time. You come from this like amazing sort of uh, group of photographers that I know specifically Guy and I and Dees have bought a ton from, uh, you know, Monaris and Dave and Ovec. And this has like been a tight group and, and Germ and all these like amazing photographers that were on Instagram. And I know that mm -hmm. you basically were one of the like, OGs there. And then you guys came here. So just like, and we've heard kind of like Dave talk about it, but he's mentioned how like you were the first person to kind of bring everybody in as an ambassador. Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, I've been doing photography for 20 years now. I started in 2003 uh, and I started because when we moved from Venezuela, we came with nothing. So I lost all of the photos of me as a child. Wow. And then my mom remarried here, uh, had a little sister and brother. And I was like, I'm going to document the shit out of their lives. I'm going to make mm. sure that they have every photo. And that's like my first 10,000 photos are just my, my brother and my sister. Um, and I remember, you know, I would be browsing, you know, Instagram would have a lot of features and they would feature different people. And they featured one day something called like an Insta meet. And I was like, an Insta meet, what's that? And I started going through the hashtag and uh, I saw that people were meeting up and taking photos together. And I was like, oh. it's, a it's a photo walk. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is cool. Like I've never, you know, photography has been like a very solitary thing for me. I've, I've always been just me. Right. And I was like, okay, I'd love to check one of these out. And literally a few weeks later, Instagram was doing uh, what they called worldwide Insta meet weekends. And this is where they like encourage people to host a meetup and wow. hang out. And I was like, okay, you Let's know, went to my first one. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. All right, who's doing the meetup for New York? And I hit up the people at Instagram NYC. They're like, no, we're out of town. And I started just like looking for people. No one was hosting a meetup. And I was like, what do you mean? Like New York City's not having like a meetup? And the, the guys at Instagram and NYC, um, they were like, hey, we'll give you access to our account. They had like 12,000 followers at the time, which was massive. They're like, we'll link you uh, with this guy, Jacob Santiago, uh, incredible New York City photographer, who at the time had like 19,000 followers, which was like, oh, this guy's famous. <laughs> uh, and maybe you guys can host something and you know we can help you promote it right and i was like super nervous i'm like okay sure and we planned this meetup because at that meetup i met like illich peters wow. i met uh this guy kevin ornelas omar robles wow. i met him that nice. day there mm -hmm. uh and i met just like a, an amazing group of photographers from new york and we actually ended up the photo that i took and posted ended up getting featured by Instagram on the Monday. But the funny thing is they featured it from the Instagram NYC account, not my account. Uh, uh, so they gained a ton of followers, right? Uh, and right. they didn't even show up. And yeah, but it worked out because, you know, I, I very much like always say that that was like a pivotal, pivotal point in just my life and career because from there on, I was connected to these people and then I became the Insta Me guy. So we would show photographers from all over the world. And when I started traveling, literally anywhere I went, everyone would say you guys in New York have the best community. Like we, there's nothing yeah. like that. And anywhere. I think that's, spilled, yeah. I think that's spilled over to what a lot and of that's the crew. And that's, yeah. you know, so when I got into web three, I, I was pretty early to the whole thing and crypto. Uh, and when I saw it happening, I was like, I got to put the crew on. So yeah. you know, I called my friend, I'm like, if I get Dave in, he'll get a hundred people in. If I bring Illich in, he'll bring a hundred people in. If I get, you know, Ruby in, he'll bring a hundred people in. And I just like started all of my 2020 was just FaceTiming people, and they all thought I was insane. They're like, dude, are you okay? Do you have COVID right now? <laughs> I'm like, no, dude, you gotta open up a better math. You gotta apply. And they're like, the world is like about to end. We're like in the apocalypse. And like, what are you talking about? Yeah.